Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 27th, 2020. So today we have Lapis Lazuli Past Life. Now, what we are learning right now is how we have laid things down in a cycle, yes? So our history as humanity, a human race, like what have we engaged in? How have we harmed one another? How have we, um, you know, been complacent about certain things? We have a whole culture of complacency now. I'm not going to get involved. I'm just going to, I'm just going to let things be. And then when it's like, okay, we need some measured amount of action here, people completely overcorrect and go off the rails. And that's where they're standing out there and they're trying to be the next great oracle. And they're screaming at the top of their lungs saying, everybody's wrong who doesn't believe what I believe. If you don't live the way I do, you're wrong. So these are all patterns that have been laid down. We're not very balanced. We still need to work on that balance. And this is what I think we're learning right now. What are the past life cycles? So it could be personal to you. What kind of ancestral patterns are there that you need to look at? If you have a pattern of abuse in your family, let it stop with your generation. Let it be done with you. But in a bigger sense, we we're have we no longer have the option to keep hiding from what we need to do, right? We are being forced to slow down. We're being forced to even, like I said, you know, in a lot of situations, walk away from your job to connect with your family. I've spoken with my family every single day in one way or another because these are, you know, it's not because I'm scared. It's because I want to, you know, I, I know the importance of breaking the pattern right now. We're meant to be coming together and paying attention and re reconnecting with our family. This will point out issues where people get really used to uh, working in a different way and then going, why do I, you know, like here in Colorado, for example, why do I drive on icy snowy roads all the way to Denver from Colorado Springs in a blizzard? Why do I do that to myself? No. We saw the capability of working in a different way, in a safer way, we're gonna do that, <laughs> right? So these are just some examples of how things are going to permanently change um, and how we are, you know, if we, if we try to get back into our distractions again, the distractions are going to be taken away. You feel me? So yeah, this could be collapses. If you get too hung up on your money, the economy is going to collapse. You get too hung up on who you think you are. You're going to be driven into madness. There's a bigger power at play here. And people love to think of things like, you know, like a plague that's punishing everybody. I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> I think we've contributed to this. We have, uh, you know, measures in place on a soul level. It's like, hey, if we get too out of control, give us something that will challenge us as a human being, that will help us learn, help us see so that we can get out of that cycle. You think I'm wrong? You can think whatever you want, it's cool. Have your opinions, but I can't stress enough, if we don't break these past life patterns, if we don't look at what we've already laid down and take accountability for it, we're going to continue to have things like this happen. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care, bye-bye.